What's going on, gang? Paul Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at not one, but two Saban's Power Rangers the Movie roleplay toys. First off is the Morpher, and then we also have the Power Sword. Now, the Power Sword is the only weapon that is going to be featured in the movie, unfortunately. The other Rangers don't get their weapons until maybe the second movie. Who knows? So, we're going to go ahead and open both of them and take a look. We're going to take a look at the Morpher first, and out of the box it comes with this little piece that just is a piece of plastic that's there as a stand-in. The overall Morpher itself is actually quite heavy because it does require several batteries here in the back. It does have a belt clip, and it's got an integrated circuit board right underneath where the power coin goes. I mean, it's an integrated circuit board. You can see the integrated circuit board. That That's so weird. Lights and sounds are activated via the switch. So we don't have a coin in right now. I will go ahead and put in the T-Rex coin. <clears throat> this is the getting ready to morph. And then we slide the thing to the side. And that's it. That was the morphic sequence. I actually like the morphing sequence because it's got that vroom sound to it. I like that. I think that's very cool. Now I'm going to adjust my lights here a little bit so you could so we could get a better look at the different lights. Unfortunately, my biggest complaint with the with the morpher is that the lights don't change color when the coins are put on. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more filtering done with the coins. That's really my only complaint. So that was the red coin. We'll move to the Mastodon next. And the coins themselves are pretty cool. They're textured. They're obviously plastic, but they look neat. However, the only real issue I have is it's really hard to tell at times where or how the coin is supposed to be situated within the morpher. So we'll go with the black coin next. Getting the coins in and out is a little bit difficult. Not too bad, though. We're going to go with blue next. And I'm just trying to get it so that I can see how it's supposed to go. Now, I want to show you the morph without the coins. I think that's really cool. I think the Morpher with the coins is neat. Few little caveats though. I don't like the integrated circuit board visible. That's just me. I understand why it's like that because of the lights and the way it works. And, and I would have liked the coins to be a little bit clearer on what the picture of the you know, dinosaur is. Other than that, I think it's fine. I am also super stoked to see it in the movie. I really am excited to see how that turns out, and we, but we still have a ways to go before the movie's out. So let's move on to the Power Sword next. The Power Sword is pretty darn big. It's about 18 to 24 inches long at the tip, made of soft plastic, which I'm fine with. The overall look of the toy is pretty neat. It does have lights and sounds gimmicks that is operated via this switch. And one thing I do have to give Bandai a lot of credit for, both the Morpher and the Sword come with batteries pre-installed. So the Sword has two different modes, Battle Mode and Training Mode. Battle Mode is more of a freestanding mode where you just start wiggling it and moving it, and it'll start making noise. You push this button up here, 
for training mode. Training mode. Swing your sword. You got it. Honey's approaching. Attack. Great job. Slash attack. Yeah, way to go. Swing your sword. You got it. Putty's approaching. Attack. Great job. Okay, I think that's enough of that. It's meant to be wielded by the right hand, and obviously me being an adult, it's a little small. It is meant to be held by kids, and I think kids are going to have a lot of fun with it. I would personally remove the batteries because I don't think the lights and sounds actually add anything to the toy, but then again, I'm an old fart and don't really care for lights and sounds, but kids might. It also would remove some weight from the thing. This is actually pretty heavy. It's not terribly heavy, but it is heavy enough that maybe removing the batteries would help a bit. Both of these are actually really good roleplay toys. Yeah, I would like to see some changes made, specifically some more paint, or maybe the designs aren't exactly reflective of what we're going to see in the movie, but you know they're pretty good for being released in a mass market here in the U.S. I do like them both quite a bit, and I think they're definitely both worth having in your collection. Though, if I had to pick one over the other, I would say get the Morpher as opposed to the Battle Sword. I think the Morpher is just cooler, and you get coins with it, or you get power coins with it, with it which I think are definitely cool. Again, I would like to see different power coins or maybe some movie prop power, power coins come out at some point. I think the plastic ones, they're not perfect. Let's just put it that way. They're not perfect. I would like to see maybe just a little bit more detail on them. That's my biggest complaint, I think. But overall, I think kids are going to have a blast with these things. So gang, thank you for watching this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.